Hello and welcome back to part two of our Fisher Homes, the Leland, Chesapeake subdivision in Pickering, Ohio. This part two discovers us more into the basement. What I'm going to do here is show you some of the uh, basement and then some of the layouts that they uh, offer for walkouts for the Ohio area and some of the Atlanta. So here we have the optional finished lower level. You can pause and take a look at that if you like. Uh, the next two are basically for the Atlanta area only. Uh, there's the uh, land up drop walkout. You can see here we got nice tall ceilings here. And we should have another option there, right there. There's other optional walkout again for Atlanta. Nice poured walls, nine foot ceilings. It appears to have two furnaces too. Maybe one for the upstairs and one for the uh, downstairs or lower level in the basement. Here we have the uh, drainage for the uh, sink, for the toilet, the bathroom that will go right here. And a shower. Poured walls, really nice. There was no cracking in the floor either, so they had a nice seam in the floor, but as I look through there, and there's the radon, it goes from the basement all the way up to the roof. It might have a fan on it as well to help with that. I'm not really sure, but you'd have to ask the uh, Builder, but that is an option. You can put a fan at the end of that tube to help pull the radon out of the house. Nice size water heater. I like how it kind of goes around the corner here. There's room behind the steps as well. So it's very nice. Yeah, that looks like two furnaces. The smaller one must be for the bait upstairs. The uh, third level. Here again is the uh, stub outs for the uh, kitchen area, wet bar. And of course, it has code, it has a light at the bottom of the steps, which is my code. Now, I wanted to show you the basement because we didn't do that on the first video, but uh, we'll take a look up here again and show you the first level. It's the first floor owner suite. And uh, we'll take a look around here and uh, show you some of the I items here from where, again, from the other video. If you want to, you can go back and look at that video. It'll show you the upstairs. We're not going to go upstairs to the third, uh, to the upstairs level. Coffered ceilings. Very nice. There's a huge island there in the kitchen. Two lights above it, which is really nice. And over here, they have the uh, pantry, which is a nice size. It's not huge, but it's a nice size pantry. And again, this would all change. You can change the layout so that you can get a first floor owner suite and a first floor guest suite, which would be all around the corner over here. But first, we're going to go ahead and take a look outside on the uh, patio. And I want to take a look at the outside area. We did not show you this last time either. And here you get a look at the how much property you have. I believe it goes back to that tree line. I don't think it goes past that. You can see there's really beautiful shrubbage and they got the stone around the outside with the uh, shingles. Those are probably concrete shingles. They paint them. There you go. Good look at the island. Over here is the morning room. Nice chandelier up there. That's where the guest bedroom would be if you decided to do that option. Has a really nice butler's pantry here between the uh, kitchen and the uh, dining room. The dining room can be closed off so you can make like an office over there if you want it to. I believe you lose the butler's pantry if you do that option. Uh, you have to look on the homeowner's uh, website to see all the different options this Leland has on a layout. Back around the corner over here is a door right there to the third car garage. But we'll stop over here into the laundry room and take a look there at the... Uh, little storage area for your laundry room, tiles or stuff like that. Has the washer dryer hookups and a nice deep sink. Nice cabinet above the uh, washer and dryer, which is always comes in handy. A little cubby hole there, a little, um, little LED lights there. Got a little cubby there. When you walk in the door, you hang up your coats, books, things of that nature. Here's a peek at the third car garage with the uh, door on the outside of it. You see, as I follow V around, again, we've been to this house before, so we just want to come back over here because Fisher Home is having a, a giveaway 
on March the 11th and 12th to a $1,500 giveaway if you just visit their models. So we were out visiting all the models today. Just taking a look around, having fun with that. You can see a pretty backsplash there. Gas stove with the uh, range above it. Really, very, very nice. That's top of the line. There's a microwave with the uh, oven. Beautiful fireplace. Goes all the way up to the ceiling. We were looking at some of the cabinets they had here, some of the items we we're going to use for our house. And it's always nice to do that. We visit a lot of models to do that kind of thing here. And we'll take a quick peek here into the owner suite. As you can see, it's very well lit. Lots of windows, transient windows. You got the, again, the uh, really nice tray ceilings up there. LED lights all around. You got two vanities, split vanities. There's the owner's suite head there. Nice shower. It doesn't have all the overhead shower you can get to upgrade a shower, but it's very nice. Tile floors, mosaic tile there on the bottom there. Nice footrest. Or a bench there, closet. Very nice. And then the nice, uh, like I said, the uh, big tub there in the middle between the two sinks and a nice walk-in closet. With the window facing the front of the house, it was a really nice touch there. Got the windows in there. Not sure if these drawers are soft closed or not, but they do have the little cut in there. The little design on the doors is just not a straight panel. It is ended it there with a nice little thing there. So this is going to come to the end of our tour here pretty soon. Again, thanks for stopping by watching the Leland part two. We got to show you the basement area and um, we appreciate you guys stopping by our channel. And if you happen to like what you saw, just go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks again.